everyone. I am one of the reference and instruction librarians here at Quinnebog Valley Community College, and today I'm going to show you some tips and tricks for using Academic Search Premier to help with your research assignments. You can see we're on the main Quinnebog Valley Community College page. We're going to go to Student Resources, go down to Library, and now we're on the Library homepage. You can see that we have our library hours listed. Please keep an eye on those as they may change based on which semester we're in. As we scroll down, we can see that we have all the ways to contact a librarian. So since we're looking for Academic Search Premier, we're going to click on Find Articles. And then you can see these are all listed alphabetically. So because Academic Search Premier is very popular, there are actually two places you can find it. Because it's an A, it shows up second on our list here to the left. It also shows up first on our list of student picks over here to the right. We can click either one of those, and it takes us directly to the Academic Search Premier screen. So let's go ahead and type in our search terms here in our search bar. You can see that as we're typing, the database is giving us a list of possible search terms to use. The one that I'm looking for isn't quite there yet, so I'm just going to keep adding things in until I get to what I'm looking for. There we go. I always make sure that once this screen comes up, the first thing I do is come over here to the left and click on the Limit to Full Text button. Directly under the Limit to and our full text, we'll actually see we have a date range option here. We can use the slide bar to adjust the date, or we can actually just type whatever date we're looking to directly into our box. So now that we've got a list of articles that we could use, let's just look at one. So we're just going to click on the title of the first one. And you can see here's our title, here's our author, who the source of the information is from, the publication. And then down here, kind of almost at the bottom of this list, we have an abstract. This is always a great place to start because it's going to let you know kind of what the article is about. So you can glance at this one, two, sentences, maybe a paragraph. Read it really quickly before you get into the bulk of the article. If you do read this abstract and you do think that possibly this article is going to be for you, the first thing that we're going to do is save the article in some way. This just means that we have access to it without having to go back out to the database. We can either go out to our OneDrive, we can email it to ourselves. you can just either put in your college email or your personal email, and then it gives you options about what exactly you want to have sent, including possibly a citation. Directly under email is save, and directly under that, since we just mentioned citation before, here is our citation button. So this allows us to have what we call a starter citation. So we would just scroll down, say we're using MLA 9th edition, and then we're just going to copy and paste that directly into our Works Cited page. The reason we call it a starter citation, though, is because most of the time when you copy and paste these, they don't copy and paste directly. Even though EBSCO is showing you a hanging indent right here, a lot of times that doesn't come through. And it is a computer, so you just want to make sure that it has generated that citation and copied it for you correctly. It's a great tool to use. Please copy and paste it into your Works Cited page, but then just give it a quick look just to make sure that it is appropriate appropriate for the citation style you're using. Once we've gotten our citation information, once we have saved our article, let's go ahead and start reading it. With this particular article, we actually have two options you can see here to the top left. We have HTML full text. If that's how we want to read it, then all we have to do is start scrolling. And here's our article. And you will actually see that all of our terms are highlighted. They're bolded so that they jump right at us and we can see where they are. If, however, this one also comes in PDF full text, we just click that if that's what you're more comfortable with. And here's what our PDF full text looks like. And just really quickly, I want to point out here to the right that we have all of our saving information as well as our citation information again in case you forgot to get it on the first screen. I hope this helps you use Academic Search Premier, but if you have any additional questions about how to use this database or any of the other databases that Quinnebog Valley has access to, please don't hesitate to contact a reference librarian. We'll be more than happy to help you with any part of your search process. Mm -hmm.